So all you guys by now know I have a thing for guns. I have this Smith & Wesson uh, Airweight little revolver. It falls into the revolver category. I have this 45 Glock, which falls into the automatic category. Then of course you got the kel KSG shotgun. This is the shotgun category. Then of course my Mac Daddy. This is the AR-15 Colt assault rifle. This is the rifle category. But say hello to my new little friend here. This is the Thompson submachine gun. Uh, I don't really know what category this falls into. Maybe uh, the category of awesomeness. Um, this is a very iconic weapon that was used by soldiers in World War II and a lot of gangsters loved using them in the 1950s. Well good old me just got my hands on one and it's coming up next here on Gadget Jeff TV. Gadget Jeff. Beep beep. Well, hey guys and gals, and welcome back to another Gadget Jeff TV, where I, Jeff, your host, bring you a cool new toy or gadget every week. And this episode is brought to you by our sponsor, The Word Righteous. I hope you all had a good week. I was out on a local lake called Lake Sammamish doing some jet skiing, uh, filming my friends with my drone, getting towed behind my jet ski. I also went go-karting, got pretty extreme on the go-karting, so yeah, it's been a fun week. And as I mentioned in my previous episode, I was giving away a Christmas laser projector for my 5,000 subscriber celebration. So big shout out to the winner, Ryan Jordan. He left a comment saying he wanted his house to be a nightclub for Santa where he could get spiked on some eggnog and have it be a night to remember. I mean, this comment just makes me chuckle a lot because it hits on all points that I like. I love Santa, I love nightclubs, I love raves, and I love spiked eggnog and getting trashed. So, he's the winner. But I did read everybody's comments and reply to all of them. I, uh, I like them all. I uh, wish they could all be winners. I just don't have that many lasers to give away. But I will be doing other giveaways as my channel grows, so please stay tuned. Now on to this bad boy. Again, this is called a Thompson gun, or Tommy gun for short, and it's an American submachine gun. Invented by John T. Thompson in 1918, which became infamous during the Prohibition era. It was a common sight in the media at the time both law enforcement officers and criminals were using them. The Thompson was also known informally as the Trench Boom, Trench Sweeper, Chicago Typewriter, Chicago Piano, Chicago Style, Chicago Organ Grinder, and the Chopper. I don't really get all those names, but I kind of understand the Organ Grinder because this thing's pretty insane, or the Chicago Typewriter. And that's pretty much what this thing sounds like. This guy was favored by soldiers, criminals, police, civilians for its ergonomics, compactness, large 45 ACP cartridge, reliability, and high volume of automatic fire. It has since gained popularity among civilian collectors for its historical significance. And that's kind of the reason I bought it, because it just looks like you mean business. It was in service in the US military from 1938 to 1971, and since then about 2.7 million have been made. That's a lot of guns. Now many soldiers use the 20 round clip cartridge, but gangsters, including me, prefer the large 50 round drum. But you kind of need this in a fully automatic machine gun because 50 rounds, believe it or not, you go through really quickly. Now just to clarify, fully automatic guns, I believe, are illegal in pretty much every state except Las Vegas, of course. And the one I have here is not fully automatic. I hate to burst anyone's bubble, but I try to be in compliance with the law. See what it says right here? Semi-automatic pistol, which means it only fires every time I pull the trigger. If I hold the trigger down, it's not gonna shoot automatically, I don't think. I mean, believe me, if fully automatics were legal, you can bet your bottom I would have one. Now this monster ran me about $1,200. It is not an original. An original would be a lot more expensive than that. It is a reproduction model, so you uh, collector enthusiasts out there, um, it is a repo. But personally for me, I'm happy with it. And you know who else is happy with it? My friend Gizmo. He's like, Man. In 1921, however, they were priced at $200. A Ford automobile was priced at $400. Isn't that interesting? It's like a gun being priced at $8,000 today, about half the price of a normal car. Now with my purchase, it came with this cool little book. It has some of the original uh, prints from the old manuals from when it was made. So it's by no means an original manual, but it does smell old. It has kind of a moldy-ish scent. Now this guy weighs about 10.8 pounds empty with the 50 round drum filled with 45 caliber. It's probably going to weigh a little more. Has an overall length of 33 and a half inches and a barrel length of 10.5. Has an effective firing range of 160 feet and a muzzle velocity of 935 feet per second. That's moving. I've only went out shooting with this guy once. I went through one 50 round drum. 45 caliber ammunition, uh, as you know, maybe is very expensive, like 50, 60 cents a round. 
it just adds up a lot when you have 50 rounds. You're looking at 60 bucks per drum. So a day out at the shooting range can get a little expensive with this guy. I'd recommend just bringing him out once in a while and popping off a couple rounds or something and maybe go to like a 22 if you just want to do some target practice. I personally think it's more economical for home defense. Stick it under your pillow while you're sleeping at night. If someone breaks in, you got 50 rounds ready to go. Now you can buy a wood stock that represents kind of like the handle uh, so you can have it up against your shoulder so you can actually aim. This is how soldiers used it. But the old gang Gangsters actually used to walk around with them at waist level, which uh, in my opinion was more for show than actual ease of use because you can't really aim when it's down at your, at your waist. But then again, when you have a fully automatic weapon at your waist, you're just spraying foos. I don't think it matters. Now, I highly recommend a Tommy gun uh, if you're looking for kind of a show and tell piece. I don't know if it's really practical for home defense or um, to go shooting with it every day. It's more just looks like you're a gangster. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Thompson gun or the Tommy gun or the Chicago typewriter or the Chicago blah blah blah. I'm happy to add it to my arsenal of weapons. I guess it falls into the rifle category so I guess I have two rifles now. Uh, I think I'll have a third coming up soon. I think I'm getting a sniper rifle with a really cool scope. I think that's on the horizon. As always I would love to hear your comments in the comments section below. If you ask a question I will write back with an answer. I'll be back soon with another cool gadget that I find interesting and I'm sure you will too. Hope you all have a fantastic week. Uh, Till next time homies. Or actually I should say gangsters. Till next time, gangsters.